Mexico. I am half a Navajo, Hickory Apache, and um, San Carlos Apache. I ran today because Chaco Canyon, we need to start, you know, standing up. You know, I see here that it's a lot of the youth that I hear, and I, and I wonder, I always wonder why. Why is it only, why is it the young people that start really big movements? Why is it the young people who are now standing up for the earth? And I, and I think it's because we're going to inherit it from all of you, from all of them. We're inheriting this world. And we know the way we're, we know the way the world, how we're going to inherit it is, it's going to be poisoned and it's dying, it's a dying planet. So you're, you're giving us a dying planet. And so we're here and we're here standing up and we're here to tell everyone, especially my Pueblo and my Navajo family, my Diné family, my Diné brothers and sisters, Pueblo brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, you need to start standing up. This is your land. These are your rights. These are your sacred sites. These are your sacred spaces. This is the very essence of who we are and it is being threatened. Our very essence of who we are, of our past, our ancestors, our home, it is now being threatened by the oil industry, by fossil industry, by fossil fuels. I don't want this and I'm, I'm here to standing. We didn't run in 103, 103 degree weather not to be heard. We're here and we're telling BLM that we're not just going to stand by and let them crack Chaco. We're here to stand, we're here to stay clear. We're here to tell them that we love them and that we want them to stop, that we care for their future generations as well. We need to start protecting our waters. We need to start protecting our land, start protecting our Uchimaka, our Mother Earth. You know, what are we going to do? What are we going to do for our children when they can no longer have water? My town was just put on um, a water restriction recently. It's never happened. I've never seen that happen in my life on the Hickory Apache Reservation. So before I came here, the day before I came for this run, we were put on water restrictions because our water tanks were low. They weren't filling. We don't know why, so we're still on water restriction. And that's scary because I, I don't know. I'm here in about five or ten years if I can give my little sister some water. If I can give my future generation some water. And that's scary. It's a scary thing and it's happening. There are many, many places in this world where people are, don't have water, don't have a privileged life. You in the United States, you are automatically privileged. You're white, you are privileged. I'm here to tell you that, and, you know, even though we live in America, I've been to some reservations, Indian reservations, throughout Indian country in America, where we're living third world. And it ain't funny, it ain't cool, and I'm here to stand up and we're here to stand because if, if the government isn't going to, is this is this going to ignore us, then we're gonna, they're going to have a hard time ignoring us because we're going to be in their face and we're going to be here to tell them that we're going to hear and we're going to stay and we're going to stand. Thank you, everyone. Woo! Woo! Woo!